Hey there, birth professionals or just lovers of birth. Um, you, uh, I feel like I'm in really good company. Um, you're probably like me, can't get enough of this stuff, uh, which is why I had so much fun recording all of these interviews and um, just talking to all of these amazing people. I know you're going to love these uh, these interviews as much as I did. I mean, it's just so full of juicy wisdom, juicy knowledge. It's delicious to listen to all of these speakers. So here I have for you on this page, our top picks for birth professionals, but don't be fooled. There are many, many um, interviews that are wonderful for you. I mean, everybody gives some cultural knowledge or some experience that they've learned in the field, working with people, working with birth, um, asking their elders and their grandmothers uh, about what practices were in their community. Um, but these specifically I chose for you because they're maybe a little bit more technical, a little bit more in depth, and um, they may shed some light on things that you didn't know. I've been a birth professional for about 15 years now, and there are definitely many things that I didn't know that I've learned. Um, let me just share my screen with you and uh, kind of you can see what um, what we're looking at here. So uh, let's go to, oops, just bear with me one second. And I'm going to go to, here we go, a preview of this. Uh, top, our top 10 favorite interviews for birth professionals. So, uh, well, Wagila Gutste is my number one favorite. I mean, she's, she's the leader of the Mohawk Nation Bear Clan. And she just speaks with so much wisdom and authority and power. And it's an unbroken lineage, really, that the, the information that she's sharing is from an unbroken lineage. So it's um, it's very powerful. It's very timely to hear what she has to speak about. Um, she talks about waking up our memories in, in, of our wounds. She talks about the authority of the mothers to see, uh, to really say what's what we want to see in the world. She talks about uh, spontaneous abortion and how we have this ability to choose. Women have the ability to choose. Uh, whether we want to carry a child. She talks about singing the child into our wombs and calling the child, um, uh, dancing and seed songs that help us remember, help our, our body and our being and our consciousness remember um, the wisdom that's already in it. Uh, Dr. Lisa McLeod, wow, she, she's very fascinating. She started as an engineer and became an exercise physiologist. And then she had her own experiences in reproductive health and it, you know, it didn't meet her needs, right? So she became a doctor, she became an OB. And um, this is what she does now. So she gives us all these little positions and tricks and uh, how to use an epidural. I mean, things that you would never know unless you're inside of the hospital working in the facilities and uh, you know when when an epidural is going to be bad uh she i want you to watch this video i don't want to give you any spoilers she also talks about the cultural differences that she's seen in the different places she's worked and how birth is so cultural and you never really know what someone is experiencing because it is so cultural unless you ask Sylvia Lyle, what a beautiful woman. She's from Mexico and she really goes deep into the Mexican tradition of creating ritual and ceremony around birth and journeying from the head to the heart. She's uh, someone that you won't want to miss. Centering pregnancy, Deanna Velasquez Bills. So she um, talks about uh, this way of doing group prenatals. What's beautiful about this method is that they actually do gather data and um, do statistics on how effective they are being and it's pretty impressive i mean they are load, lowering uh fetal mortality by 50 percent in some cases and um she follows they follow along different races different uh, marginalized communities and they you know they follow these um statistics uh you really want to check her out Th these are the ican chapter leaders and they talk about um how to find a, a vbac supportive or a um gentle cesarean supportive doctor versus just someone who's tolerant 
they've got so much information on cesarean. It is beautiful. And the way they share in, in this grassroots way is very beautiful. Jenny Putt, Jenny Putt, one of my favorite uh, talks because she talks about how to educate yourself to learn um, to heal your own pelvic floor. And the truth is, is that I, I believe after talking to her that we all have um, improvements and strengthening that we can do on our pelvic floor. And it's, it's very approachable. And she's actually working with us, with the Women Birth Collective, to teach some courses on, um, on the pelvic floor and how you can self-heal. So check her out and stay connected with us because we have some really great offerings coming your way. Sheila Sims Watson, she is uh, my favorite, favorite midwife on the planet. She's my teacher. She's my mentor. She's my midwife. And uh, if you watch her video, you'll see what, how she approaches her clients and why it is that she's my favorite. Um, it's really about empowering that client, educating that client and bringing um, the trust into what that client is feeling. Dr. Lauren, a Lauren Aburn, she's super busy. Uh, you know, typical OB, uh, busy, 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 but not typical in the way that how compassionate she is. And she really wanted to share with us like how we can maximize our time because she can't give it more time. She wishes she could, but she's in the medical system. She, uh, she's got 15 minutes allotted per patient and she wants to share with you how you can make the most out of your medical care. Shauna's, Shauna's Ikone is a mental health therapist and just shares with us invaluable information, including how to make a crisis plan if you need one. But uh, she also talks about embodiment practices and um, how you can kind of help your own mental health. Victoria Torres, she is lovely. She talks about um, the ceremony of birth, but also creating ceremony in everyday life. And she is a ceremonialist who follows in the Lakota tradition and uh, holds an altar. And so she, she is also an amazing birth worker and a student midwife. So she kind of weaves all of this knowledge together in a very evidence-based, practical kind of a way and simplified kind of a way to approach life as ceremony. So she brings in that ancient uh, respect and reverence for life. And um, she actually helps to um, uh, train doulas. So she's going to be working with the collective also, and we're going to bring some doula support, doula training, doula uh, mentoring, and uh, on-call doula sort of mentors. Um, so that's coming your way. And doula healing circles. So um, check her out. Alba Gozalvez, she um, talks about the energetics of the parent-child connection. She works a lot with uh, postpartum and parenting. But she actually is a, also a doula and an energy worker. So she follows it all the way through. But she really loves working with postpartum people. And talk, she t talks about how we can kind of filter our energy field for our newborns and help through this the wounding process, the parent-child wounding process that is part of our relationship. Dana Gordon shares with us compassionate uh, way to care for our clients. She talks about how care providers can do it better. She's looking at it through the scope of um, how common abuse is, especially sexual abuse. Um, so she starts off with that, but then goes into some other things. Uh, very important topic. Uh, she actually at one point says that because the rates of abuse are so high in our society that approach everyone uh, because you don't know who has been abused and who hasn't. So approach everyone with that same compassionate care. Jamara Amani, uh, she's a, an amazingly strong, powerful teacher and um, social justice uh, leader. And she shares what she's doing through Southern Birth Justice Network and um, talking about Birth Justice 101, which is a class that she teaches. And she'll, um, she has a, a Black Doulas Network. So Listen to her talk and she can pull you in and plug you in. Get in touch with her if you want more information. Karina Fitch is a midwife who was actually born on the farm. And if you're a birth professional, you might know what that means. And she's back at the farm now and she is working uh, compassionately in the mental health crisis. 
and especially supporting postpartum people. Dr. Anahi Jackson is a naturopath and homeopath. She's, um, she shares with us some of her favorite remedies, but she also shares how to make a tincture out of your placenta, uh, not a tincture, a homeopathic remedy, which actually contains very, very, very minute amounts of physical material, which is why she says it's safe. Um, so she teaches you how to make up the homeopathic preparation from placenta or the, the amniotic sac or, you know, whatever, whatever pieces you have. Dr. Anthony Lai, he's really amazing. He is a perinatologist, so he does a lot of genetic testing and high-risk pregnancy, taking care of high-risk pregnancies. But he comes at it from the approach that this all everything should center around the values of this family, of this mother, of this pregnant person. So it's very refreshing to listen to him talk from a very, um, you know, medical standpoint, but also always bringing in the importance of the value. Uh, what is that client valuing? Because that's really what matters, right? Um, and, okay, so let me show you a little bit around also this website. So this is where you can find the top picks, but when you want to actually go and see the speakers, you're going to come to this page, which is the schedule page, where you have the speaker list on a schedule and there will be buttons when the event goes live down here and you just click the button and you go straight to the video. OK, so these are Monday's speakers. And then as you scroll down, you'll, I'm sorry, Saturday's speakers, Saturday, April 23rd. This is a typo. Sunday, April 24th. And then there'll be a button down here when that releases and you can just go straight and view that video. And then you scroll down and you'll get Monday, April 25th. Now, if you purchase the ticket, uh, then you're going to go to the registration and login page. Um, so when you click login, it's going to take you here. If you have not logged in or registered yet, you just click here, register for an account. It's very simple. You just register and you will be taken to your behind the scenes page where you'll have all access for, to the videos for life. You'll have downloadables like MP3 audio you can take with you in the car, on a plane, wherever you go, at the beach, at the park, on a hike. Um, and you also have some bonus download PDFs, which are concise uh, key points for all of the um, all of the interviews. So I urge you to buy a ticket right now. They're on pre-sale, which you'll save a ton of money. And all the pre-sale tickets go to amplifying the message and promoting the event, so that we can really share all of these amazing interviews as far and as wide as we can. So I really encourage you to buy a ticket um, while it's um, on pre-sale. And then there will be a pre-sale all the way up until, let's see, the night of the first day. So you can still buy a pre-sale ticket um, on the, uh, up until midnight on the first day of the event. So midnight, um, April 24th, um, which is really uh, Saturday night. Um, all right, keep in touch with me if you have any questions. I'm thinking about hosting a little meetup for birth professionals so we can get to know each other and kind of network. So uh, the other thing that I want you to do is to join our Facebook group. Let me take you to the Facebook group, which is the womb and, whoops, you don't want to go here. You want to go to the womb and birth collective. So facebook.com slash group slash womb and birth collective. It'll take you right into here. We've got lots of members joining in and go ahead and join that group. And then you can keep in touch and we'll, we'll have a, we'll host a little networking day for the birth professionals. And I really hope to see you there. Uh, keep in touch and I'll see you very soon. Uh, let me just stop sharing.